Hi, it's me, Jennifer Montgomery, back again with Inspired Soul Sessions. We are now in the year 2020. It is January 3rd, and I wanted to talk about the topic of, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so basically, what that means to me is keeping things positive and in an effort for positive manifestations, speak only of what you want. Focus on only what you want. Therefore, conversations regarding things that were troublesome, annoying, frustrating, things that you would not like more of, have no room. So, I've learned that words are vibrate like vibratory and the things we talk about carry an energy. So when you talk about only the things that you want, you get those things or the, you'll see those things show up for you in your life. But if you are complaining like a Debbie Downer, whining, as they say down here in Key West, at one of the um, at one of the bars called the Green Parrot, there's this <laughs> understanding. It's called no sniveling, basically, no whining, no complaining. There's no room for that. And truly, the people that do that always have something to complain about. But what if you change it? So find the good in everything, and when you feel like complaining, find the good. So I once read something, um, it's probably in the Oprah magazine or something, I don't remember, it was a long time ago, but basically like, be in being present in where you are in a particular moment, and there could be a reason for it. So like, God always puts you where he wants you to be whatever you consider God, the universe, angels, whatever. I'm going to say God for lack of a better term right now. Um, we all kind of understand that. But we're always where we're meant to be. So when you're sitting in traffic, rather than like, you know, bitching that you're in traffic, maybe there's a reason. Maybe you're avoiding something or maybe it's lining you up with something you really want. So if you follow your intuition and your guidance and you stay present, there's a reason for everything. I was in traffic last night, totally unexpected, and when that happens on Highway 1, you're sitting for a little while because there's no other way around anything because there's one way in and one way out. So interestingly enough, you know, when I left my event last night, I had to pee. <laughs> and sometimes I was like, oh, I'll go when I get home. But for some reason, thank God I did because I ended up sitting in traffic. And then I was like, I was really hungry. <laughs> Cause I forgot to eat lunch yesterday. So I was like, oh, let me stop and get some pretzels with peanut butter, you know, protein, blah, blah, blah. So it worked out perfect because when I was sitting in traffic, I didn't have to pee and I wasn't hungry <laughs> and I had water. So there you go. Everything's for a reason. So if we talk about the things like the positive things, always find a positive aspect in everything because there is always something. And don't re relive past stories that didn't feel good. And we all do it. I do it sometimes too. I have to catch myself and be like, why am I talking about this? This is this is stupid. Why am I even bringing this up? Or why am I like re-entertaining this energy into something? Because it's over. So why do I need to feel that now? Because the now is the now. I don't need the then in the now. So it's like letting the past go. And some people don't like to do that, but it's a practice. And when you practice speaking only of what you want and the things that feel good, you'll notice a remarkable change in your life and what you attract to you. So I personally have a pretty decent habit of shutting down conversations that don't feel good. And, you know, it may seem a little rude, but it's not rude to my energy because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I do not like to hear about, 
oh, well, this happened then, so that's going to happen now. And that's not true. Just because that happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen. It really doesn't. I don't believe that. I believe that I can redirect my thoughts and my energy to where I want it to go. And perhaps the past was just a trial run. So, okay, that happened then, but it doesn't mean it has to repeat. So we all have the power to make things happen the way we choose to and how we focus upon our future. And speaking about something that happened or hurt or this, that, and the other, I think it's good for reflection in the mind to think about something, you know, maybe the pain it, it could have brought up in you, but as a lesson so that you can clear it and let it go and move forward in a lighter way. But to just hold it like as a resentment or as a means to keep you stuck is absolutely crazy. So um, I really, and I formerly agreed with talking about things like, oh, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. But now I've, you know, as I've seen how I can direct things differently with my energy. And listen, I'm a person that went to therapy for a long time talking about shit. <laughs> It doesn't change it. It doesn't change what happened. Whatever happened or whatever, it doesn't change it. So why waste moments talking about that nonsense when you have all these moments to create your life exactly how you want them to be? Okay, so what? Like, it doesn't matter about what happened in the past. Make a choice based on what you learned. You know, redirect or not and move forward. It's it's really cool because you don't have to hold other people accountable or even the situation like it's you know just because something happened one time doesn't mean it's going to happen again so I am really awesome at just like shutting stuff down in the sense of like when people like to preach to me how something's going to go and I'm just like because of something maybe that happened in the past and I'm just like well I don't believe that and I don't mean it in a, in a mean way or that's your belief, your belief, you're totally entitled to it and I respect it, but I don't want to hear about it <laughs> because I don't want to clogging up my energy. I don't want it putting like speed bumps in mine when I have a focus. So if I'm focused on something in a positive way, I of course want to stay on that course. But when people want to deter me with their oh well this happened to me or oh yeah you better be careful this I'm like I, I really don't care because that's not going to be my experience my experience is going to be entirely positive and awesome and different so at this stage in my life I've even resorted to not saying shit to anybody <laughs> and just using my mind to create what I want because I've learned through you know previous circumstances that I can be sensitive to what other people say and then once that kind of gets in my mind, I start entertaining it and then it's almost like I have to filter out and sift through other people's stuff and their projections when the reality is is that I already know. So I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about the things that I don't want and I don't want to hear about your bullshit because I don't care. <laughs> and. It's, it doesn't, I can't change, if you can't change it, if it doesn't have a solution available to it and it's just talking to talk or to tell some like grand story of like some heinous thing that happened, then really what's the point? Let's talk about where you're going. Let's talk about what you're doing. Let's talk about all the amazing things that are going to be in store for the new year, for the day, for next week, for the next five minutes. It's, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. Like I can sit somewhere because of the work I do is a, you know, a pay per service when I'm doing, you know, face and body art when I'm out at events. And I can be sitting somewhere and I'll be like it'll be quiet, 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 not a whole lot going on and I'm just like, okay. Mm -mm, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great day. It's a great day. Everything's awesome. And I'll end up having a wonderful experience. Another example would be Last week, I got to work, and it's super, super busy down here in Key West, and there was no available parking spots at that moment. And I didn't have a lot of time. I probably told the story already, but anyway, I'm saying it again. Anyway, the truth is, is that 
I didn't get caught up in that moment. I stayed focused and I believed I was getting a parking spot and I ended up doing exactly that. So I didn't end up needing to tell a story of like, oh my gosh, like I heard some of the other people like, oh, there's nowhere to park and blah, 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 blah. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Just focus, focus and then manifest. And don't tell, I don't want to talk about the other stories. I might just walk away. And it's totally fine to do that and say, thank you. Have a nice day. Can we talk about something else? And that's okay. You know, you, you have a choice to say, I don't want to talk about this. That's fine. And there you go. So talking about things we don't want reinforces them. So let's not do that. Let's talk about things we want to talk about, that we want to see happen, that we want to manifest in our realities because... The power is within us all. Everyone has it. Whether you choose to believe it or not, it's entirely there. So look at your life. If you don't like what's happening, don't talk about it. <laughs> but change your thinking, change your life, and use positive affirmations and positive thinking and speak positively of the things that you want to see because nobody cares about your sob story. They don't. I don't. <laughs> Talk about good things and you'll see good things happen for you. So that's all I have for today. This is my first video of the new year. So again, hit the subscribe button. Should be on the bottom. In the information box, information box, I guess that's called, yep. Um, all my information is there. So we can talk more about these things, having direction, setting goals, focus, focus, and just talk. Sometimes it's just good to talk with somebody that has positive outlooks on life. It kind of gives you like a little jump start so you can keep yourself in a positive vibration and hopeful and in a place where you aspire to continue moving in a good direction for you. So again, my information's in the box. Be nice to each other, smile, drink your water, and stay in your own lane. Okay, happy new year and have an awesome day. Okay.